All right, it looks like we're going to have to go that way. All right, here we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode and gameplay and live stream of Alan Wake Remastered. We're going to continue where we left off, which is right here. Right here. Um, so I hope everyone's doing well today, and I hope you guys are ready for some more Alan Wake. Let's see what happens in today's episode. Uh, I kind of want to go back to see what was out there on this side over here. But darkness is coming. I could be making a terrible mistake. Or I could be making a good one. Yeah, we've already gone through here. I don't think there was anything over here. <clears throat> All right, let's keep going. Light, guide me. Yo, yo, Pikester, how are you? Come on in, sir. Have a seat. Get comfortable. We're here playing some more Alan Wake. Good. No monsters showed up. <clears throat> Beautiful. Just the way I like it. All right. Looks like we're... Man, we should hire the darkness to the chop down trees. The was moving ahead of me in the same direction I was going. <clears throat> A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? Most probably. It's trying to stop you, that's for sure. You're doing all right? Cleaned your room? Feeling fresh? Good. Sounds like you're getting closer to the end of the original. Aww, is it? <clears throat> I don't keep track of, like, the number of episodes there's left, so that way I could be surprised, like, when it all ends. Because if I do, to me, I'm like, oh, this has to be the last episode. This is the second and last one. Like, I'm already expecting it, that it's already going to end. But, aw, it's been a long journey. I actually was thinking about Pegasus today. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? <clears throat> I miss Pegasus. Zork show up yet? Who's he? Who's he? Is that Seto's dad? What the hell? Huh? Oh, okay, okay, okay. There's a lot of cru crucifixes here. Are we walking in a graveyard? Oh, these are probably the tombstones and the, the or the. Shift may cause cancer. Oh, the jig! No, you don't, Ninja. Where's the other one? Come on. What? Are there more? Oh, I thought there were more coming. Are you stuck? <clears throat> oh, that's right. The dark one. The dark entity. The dark presence. There, there is a moment in the. <coughs> excuse me. There, there was a moment I felt like the drawing, the animation, the style of it, 
is changing. Like it's getting a little sloppy now. There was a moment where Bakura's face didn't didn't look like the way he did in the second season, or in the first, where I'm just like, okay, so who was the artist that took over in this part in this episode? And then Kaiba, Tristan, and everybody else, Yugi and the others, they looked kind of different too. I could definitely, I definitely saw a difference. Yeah, last season was kind of rushed, if I remember right. Oh, yeah, I can tell. I'm starting to see it. Checkpoint! What's my wife's name? I forgot. I'm a bad husband. It's a shame. Wish they lasted more than five seasons like Pokemon. Dude. The place was dead. A ghost town. Had been for decades. Maybe a century. What the frick? Hey! 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 Don't touch me. Don't get near me. Back off, demon. Yeah, run up. Run away. The spin-offs were so bled to you. <laughs> but I was going to say I and then, you know, you can tell that they tried doing different things. In the season, introducing new stuff. The capsule monsters, the dungeon dice, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Where I'm just like, I don't care. Just stick to the main story, please. <laughs> How's the game? Good, Pikester. It's getting good and better and better. And I think it's also getting harder, too. Yes? Oh, no. I hope that darkness had insurance on that car. That's good to hear, yes. And good job cleaning your your room, man. I need to get back to that. I was cleaning my, my room. Oh, can I climb in here? And then I stopped when I got sick, so I was like, oh. So now I gotta clean it up again. Disinfect it and everything. You need to clean your room too. What's gonna happen next? Wake and Casey. Things were never as simple in real life as in fiction. I had lost count of the times I had wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block. Something to fight, something to lash out on. There wasn't. I was filled with doubt. I was nothing like the hero in my books. Alex Casey had gone through his life with single-minded determination, never wavering from his goal. Even now, I was angry at myself, angry at Alice, angry at Barry. I was fumbling and I had no plan. Hmm. Okay. Alice is her name. Alice. Let's just think of Alice from Resident Evil. <clears throat> Always wear gloves, but I want to lose. <laughs> what do you like to do for hobbies? Sunrose. <clears throat> Explain yourself, Sunrose. Huh? Oh. Grey Peak Gorge, originally founded in 1928, the Grey Peak Gorge mining town was one of the peppermint settlements, <laughs> permanent, per, not peppermint, permanent settlements, <laughs> peppermint, the Bright Falls Mining Company built for its workers. The nearby graveyard is a, a testament to the dangers of the mine. Oh, yeah, I kind of figured to the miners who died here. 
Oh wait, wait, wait! Testament to the de to the dangers the miners faced on a daily basis. Most of the men who lost their lives over the years here were buried there. To grim, a grim reminder to be careful, careful for those who remained. Was abandoned almost overnight when the Bright Falls Mining Company closed its doors in 1970. Hmm? It had a good run, but. <clears throat> the ring fit. Watch TV, play video games. Noise. <clears throat> All right. Uh, well, batteries. Nothing. No hot chocolate, no nothing. What's this? A page? No. There was some items in there. Hot chocolate! Batteries. There were no items here? Oh, I thought there would be some items. I guess not. Checkpoint. <gasps> oh! Oh god, two boxes. No, back off, back off, back off. Just looking around, nothing. Oh shit, more. Oh, three objects now. Gotcha. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? There's another one. There was another one. The power of the light compels you, bitch. There you go.
Because of triggers that can affect... Oh, that sucks. Do I go this way? Oh my god. Nice sound. I wonder if I could have avoided that. Oh well. What's done is done. Huh. Looks like we're going down. Oh! Uh, no, you don't. No! What's the next one? It's stuck over there. And it doesn't seem this light, regular light doesn't seem to hurt it. Woo! I'm waiting for my flashlight to recharge. I really need to hit it with the beam. Regular flashlight just is not hurting it. Got it. I. Hot chocolate. Come here. I don't know if, if you can say that's just age. And complains he's tired of all the time. <laughs> Well, when you get older, you do, you do get tired a lot. <laughs> but still, what gets you extra st uh, tired, depending on like, your weight and uh, your health condition and everything, that also determines it. But then again, not really, because I've seen uh, a lot of el uh, older people, uh, they, they, and it seems like they're still in good shape. And that's just because I'm pretty sure, you know, they take really good care of themselves ever since, for a very, very long time. Like my grandmother, you know how when we get older, we tend to forget things or whatever. But luckily my grandmother, before she got sick and everything, um, and took a turn for the worse, she still had good memory. She still had good memory. She knew what medicine to take and everything. She paid attention to what the doctor was telling her. So... I think it just really depends on how well you take good care of yourself, how well you eat, and yeah, and then the exercise. Safe haven. Bullshit! We'll see about that. We'll see if it's a safe haven. Mm. Any monsters? Oh, maybe it is. There's a lot of light in here. Flare? Yeah, I'll take it. Huh? <gasps> Being outside of riding is a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. 
There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake, using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Oh. Zane writes about himself, his girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence. <gasps> about growing scared of the lake. <clears throat> Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things from my story. They ring true. They fit. No! Damn it! Exactly, just because I, I'm getting older doesn't mean I want to get fatter. Yeah, you can, you can prevent that. It's all up to you. It's in your hands. The fate of your future lies within your hands. Oh, right. Okay, I guess we're going to switch to hunting rifle again. Why can't we keep both? Like, kind of like the flare gun. The flare and the flashbang. Why can't we keep both the shotgun and the rifle, huh? Huh? Damn it, game. Just damn it. Hmm. Do I really want to keep that? Yeah, I think... Wait, 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 wait. I think the shot... Hmm. I think your shotgun was a, a lot better. Yeah. So why does the darkness hate trees so much, huh? What do, what do the trees do to it? Huh? Oh. Interesting sound effects. It almost sounds like the that tower. <clears throat> Sounds like it's growling. Okay. Man, this is a big level. How much more do we need to go? Are we almost there? Oh. Yes. The kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. He was <laughs> telling me to hurry up. <laughs> cool, a lot of flare gun. <clears throat> All right, let's go. <laughs> that little squirt took down that heartless. Who'd have thought it? <laughs> Woo, my legs are gonna be sore. From running up this hill. Huh? Birds. Oh, God, no. We're running up that hill. We're running up that wall. Oh, more birds. Cue the Jumanji music. Come on. Come on. Which one of you is going to do it? Oh, God, no. It's gonna be dangerous. All right, let's go. Ah! Where did the other crows go? Are they coming?
Back off. I'm not gonna leave until... Until we get rid of some of these crows and then we could safely run across. There we go. Now we can run. Oh! oh. Ah! That was close. I did not know there was going to be more of them. Ah. Ah. Back off. They want to come attack me, but come on, come on. What does it say? Danger. Oh, shoot. All right, the Jumanji music is still playing on an airplane. I think we're safe. Huh? Okay. Oh my god, look at all this ash or dust or whatever that's floating in the air. What? What does it say? Oh! Yes? Sweetheart, is that you? What? What? Hold on, woman. Tunnels go to cauldron. Oh, really? Oh, for God's sakes, woman. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. What do you want? Maybe it's a trap. I don't know. I don't know where to go. Maybe we're, we are supposed to go that way. No bullets yet. All right, let's see what's down here. It said they lead to Cauldron Lake. Oh! The evening, the headache stabbed at my brain. Why? Was that a good or bad thing? Well, stabbing is not a good feeling. Oh my god! I'm losing it. I gotta get out of here. Maybe because this is the lake? Well, no, there's a page here. 
What is this? Oh, my goodness. Hunters taken. The hunters were big, thick-set men, confident and at home in the woods. They were feeling good, running on beer, ghost stories, and camaraderie late into the night. It did them no good, as they were taken by the dark presence, sucked deep into a darkness far worse than any ghost story they ever told or heard. The way he wrote that, the hunters were big, thick-set men, confident at the home in the woods. They were feeling good, running on beer and ghost stories and jelly beans and stickers and whatever the devil the children are into these days. Thick set. They were hairy men, living alone in the woods. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, and where is this forest? I <laughs> what did you just say? Oh, don't start. For, for, for too long I've been parched of thirst and unable to quench it. Too long have I been starving to death and I haven't died. I feel nothing. Not the wind on my face, nor the spray of the sea, nor the warmth of the woman's flesh. Don't get close to me, Captain Barbosa. You best stop believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. You're in one. Hold your fire. You know whose blood we need. You all remember Captain Jack Sparrow. Kill him. <laughs> Even behind the closed doors and curtains of his grimy room at the Majestic, the local motel, Nightingale could feel the locals' eyes on him, the unrelenting pressure of their judgment. He forced it out of his mind. For all he knew, they could all be under Wake's spell already. You do what you have to do to get the job done. He took comfort from the bottle in his hand. Please, he thought. Just let me get through this. Okay, that kind of gives him more reason. I guess he knows what's going on and he believes that, yeah, Wake is, in, is the reason why all of this is happening. That's why he... I mean, well, killing us is not going to solve anything. Whatever doesn't work, fool. But then again, he was drinking. Either way, this mo this man is all kinds of crazy. He's all, type, he's all kinds of wrong. <laughs> Mr. Nightingale. What's with the earthquake? What's with the... I wasn't going that way anyways. Huh? Oh, really? Oh, it's a damn party! Well, come on over, bitch! What? I missed! Man, they tried it. They tried to ambush me. Hell no. I'm Mr. Wake. <gasps> Hot chocolate. Silver and gold. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wait, where did we come from? Ah, 
Sorry, I got lost. But the hot chocolate was over here, right? Yes. And we came from over there. Now we're going this way. I'd have to make my way up this mine shaft in order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. Hmm. Okay. Puzzle time. Oof, and we don't want to fall down. <clears throat> Oh, we can move it. Just make sure you don't miss anything. <laughs> I did not want to fall. Huh? Kick it. <laughs> Bam! I take it we're going to have to press that button to lift it up. Okay, so this puzzle was, I think, in my opinion, way too easy. Checkpoint! Oh my god. I will say the sound effects in this game are pretty good. Oh. <laughs> okay, never mind. How much further do we have to go? Where the heck is this? What is the peak? The peak where he wants us to go? Oh, do we continue? Hold on. We don't keep going up? Up and down. I don't know, but the, it looks like there's some stuff over there. We might have to get out. 
to over there. Let's see what's up here first. We don't want to... Oh! We don't want to miss anything. White pages, supplies, ammunition. Oh! Nothing? We can't climb up? Yes, we can. One second. Focus? Mm, nice view. <coughs> One second. Okay, now we're good. I was wondering how my battery... Oh, no way. No way, dude. Wait, can we zoom in? Oh my god, the flashlight hits all the way over there across. But what area is that? Is that the same gas station? Just got done playing some aliens, fire team elite. Noise. Did you finish like the whole story? Or just like a certain chapter? I know that's the gas station, I think. And that, I'm not too sure. I can't tell very well what it is. Where's the radio tower? Because we kept saying that damn place all the time. Guess it's not working today. All right. Uh, okay. Two levels, noise. Did you play with Pikes, there? You beaten the whole thing and you unlocked everything i mean not unlocked every well yeah i guess you, oh un not uh unlocked everything and found all the secrets all by yourself oh <gasps> no huh what Ugh. Back off. Almost. Maybe that's where we need to get to. Hmm. But we're going that way. Maybe we're going to go up that... I don't know, man. This place is big. This is a, the longest episode we've ever done. Let there be light. Checkpoint reached. Oh, the fire team elite. Yeah, she has it too. Right now, she's been playing. Uh, what is it called? Um, she's been practicing. Oh, I think another cable car. Just great. Oh, what the? What's the worst that can happen, Mr. Wake? Um, she's been practicing playing uh, Texas Chainsaw. Oh God. All right. Don't worry, Diego. In time, we'll, we'll play some Fireteam Elite. I do need to finish that game. I have yet to finish it. Oh, shit. Crows. Another one? How much further? Oh shit, it's trying to stop us. No, 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 no. 
Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Oh, what the hell? Oh my god! Back off, I just arrived. No, 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 no. Creepy ninja. My tarot card was two cups. Wait, what does that mean, though, Sunrose? I'm not too familiar with tarot cards. Although I do like some of the drawings and tarot cards. Oh my goodness. The outcome is not yet set in stone. Take your time. I'm not scared. What the freak? Shit. Okay. It's raining cable cars. Is that what is that what these things are called? Shit. That thing almost crushed my d- <laughs> It's never enough for you, baby! <laughs> know what you say. Very interesting. It's like the old saying says, Is the future really written? Is the future set in stone? Or can we change and set our own paths? I'll be like Kaiba. I make my own destiny. I don't believe in that holy... <laughs> which... I'm so tired of Kaiba. He was still doing it even though he arrived in that world, the Egyptian world. And he met the blue eyes white dragon girl. And he's like, What are you talking about? You can't expect me to believe that, do you? I'm like, Oh, God, Kaiba, I don't know what. I, 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 frankly, I don't care what you believe in. It's never enough for you, baby. You better back off. What? Look at these ninjas! Where's the next light? I need to get to it. Ah. I know, right? Kaiba is a... S <laughs> like, he's right there in this whole new world. He's been through so much, and yet he still has trouble believing. You can't expect me to believe that, do you? I'm like, well, I don't know, Kaiba. At this point, I don't care what you believe in anymore. Cauldron Lake. The eighth deepest lake in the world, Cauldron Lake, is a calde uh, caldera lake formed in a volcanic crater. The volcano itself could be considered to be active, but it, it has not erupted since the volcanic earthquakes of 1970. Well, that's been way too long. And even the underground activity was comparably mild despite some property damage there were no casualties so nobody died no nobody drowned or anything cauldron lake is one of the most beautiful spots in bright falls area 
as well as the central figure in many local folk tales. It's a popular <clears throat> area for the area residents. Hmm. He's worse than the third movie. I can't remember that much about the third movie, but I, I, I definitely want to rewatch it. I mean, dude, the Pharaoh is gone. Let him rest in peace. <laughs> it was yeah, it's like, dude, I'm sorry. I don't know how people can like him. Maybe they like it because of his stubbornness. His stupidity. His lack of... understanding. What's up with the soundtrack? Sounds pretty cool. Are we going to cross the bridge? All right, here we go. Oh! Don't do that. I'm not that heavy. Ooh, that's a terrible fall. Would you guys walk across this? I would be too scared. Look how separated the wood is. Oh, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Ow, you... Get out of here. Oh! Where do we go? Oh, no, you don't. No, 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 no. I should be faster than you, you son of a bitch. You know what? You know what? Come here. Come here. You! Where are you? All right, where's that thing? Uh, there's, there it is. My God! Hold on. It's an enemy like that that makes me want to know about my ancestry. Heck, the enemy makes me want to know more about the ain't. It, well, I will say Yu-Gi-Oh did got, got me interested uh, again into ancient Egypt. The one movie that got me super interested in uh, Egyptian history uh, artifacts was The Mummy. And the mummy, the and the mummy, the mummy returns. What's this? Cauldron Lake. Maud had checked all of Stucky's rental cabins. There had been no sign of the wakes. It was dark when he'd found their car parked at the end of the road by Cauldron Lake. It made no sense. They must have taken a wrong turn, but there was no sign of them, and the car had been there for hours already. What? Frustrated, Mott stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led to Diver's Isle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. The boss wouldn't be happy. We need a checkpoint. Well, maybe this is a good spot to end it.
because we already ran out of time for this episode. All right, guys, we're going to end it here for my YouTube channel. And for those of you who are watching me live on my Twitch, stay tuned, guys. We're going to keep going with this adventure of Alan Wake and the Nightmare. All right, guys. Well, thank you so very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode and my gameplay of Alan Wake. We'll see what happens in the next episode, and I hope to see you there. Y'all take care of yourselves. Have a good day or a good night. Laters.